Hello everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome back to more of The Witcher 3. Now in the last episode, we just got dealing with Menga. The the guy who leads like the witch hunters and the the sacred fire. And all that. The eternal fire. <laughs> Church of the Eternal Fire. And uh we had some help. Uh, from Triss. And due to a series of events and what a freak. Tortured. Which, uh, it's all pretty rough. She burned the place down. Burn. And it's great. Like all the poor folks burn. And it's funny because most people, uh, like, you can hear them talking. It's just like, nobody cares. They're kind of actually okay with it burning. They're like, man, fuck them. <laughs> but. Hey. It's cr uh, hey, you know, what happens. So, we, got, we, we were looking for Dandelion. Turns out Menga had him. However, we didn't know where, so we had to find out. And through what we did, we found out. He's being held on this place in this, this island called Temple Isle. Don't even know where that is. Um, but apparently it's not easy to get into or get someone out. More or less, it's like a, like a prison. I don't know if it's fundamentally a prison, but he is being held there underneath the island. Uh, so it's gonna it's gonna be a whole thing. We did we did find the key though. We found a key, probably the key, to. The treasure hoard that belonged to Reuven, aka Dijkstra. So we gave him the key. Looking to so he he can. Turn, well, we have no idea where the hell the the money would be, but that's probably the key to get it. Seems to me I've so we we've <laughs> we gained like almost nothing about that, and right. uh, Manga, Manga didn't. Didn't say anything. And I know there was an option to suggest, like, bring up the treasure, you know, but I, I just had a bad feeling about it. Like, if we were to suggest anything regarding it, you know, I don't know. I feel like I feel like the the conversation would have gone south. It went south anyway. So there's that. But I figured it would go more south now. <laughs> Ugh, what are you all screaming about? Oh boy, oh boy! No point complaining. The hell? Thank you, pardon. All right. Got a big dump brewing. Strange. It is what it is. But now we gotta go talk to Priscilla. Oh, Probably have anything just to let her know, like, hey, Dandelion is in prison. We have to get him out. Somehow. Don't know how to do it. But damn it. We're gonna try. Because we need that dude alive. And he's our friend. Geralt! Dandelion. I know where he is. Where? Dungeons on Temple Isle. That's not a nice jest. No jest, sadly. But don't worry, we'll pull him out. Triss has an idea. All we gotta do is find Dudu. So you must find Dudu in order to find Dandelion, with the aim of ultimately finding Siri? Sounds like an awful lot of searching, but I do wish you luck. Don't have a choice. I gotta meet Horson Jr. He might know something. Take care um, now. Literally, that sums up that sums up actually our entire time here in Novigrad. You know, it's a lot of searching. It's like, yeah, believe it or not, it, it has been. It's all been, it's all been searching. Uh, I guess Dudu is a uh, old friend as well. Someone they know. Someone they trust. Very secret. Very secret person. Okay. Now. We have this quest line. 
which is basically what we're going to do next. Got to find Horson Jr. So we did have this one that we got earlier when we were in the bathhouse. And Cleaver was going after Horson Jr. on his own. From the lands already taken oh. by Nilfgaard. He's like, <laughs> he hates this guy. So we're trying to, we were trying to beat him to the punch on locating Junior. So hopefully, what is it, Gray Boy? Looking for adventure? So I was like, okay, so these are Cleaver's dudes, and then he's in here interrogating. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, there he is. <laughs> uh, a wee minute, Witcher. Now, I'm curious something mighty. How is it you were off the same bloody night Horson tried to kill me? Twas chance, honest. I was at the brothel. I've witnesses. I don't doubt you found some witnesses, but I do doubt the bit about chance. Know what? Shite conversation this. So much blethering, we've got nowhere. Lad, you have a chat with him. It's simple. I want to know where Horson is. Oh, God. I've not betrayed you! Not ever! No! No! I know nothing! Oh, shit. Yikes. Doesn't play around. Got it. Help me find Junior. I'm about to send my lads around Horson's hideouts. Won't say no to a witch's blade. Leave my men, take the water junior, and drag him out of his hidey hole. Win win situation, as I see it. I can agree. Horson can't die until I've talked to him. My lads are hot headed, and I like him like that. Want to rein them in? Do so on your own. Great. <laughs> so we can just say no deal. We'll be on our own. Or we can work together, and that might actually work out. More people looking is probably always the best. All right. Now, I suspect Junior's hiding at his casino in Gildorf. Either that or near the arena beneath the bits. My lads will be there. Find him. Okay. Let's check the casino. Oi, right? Fucker. Yeah. Is the arena a bit further away? So we might as well hit the casino on the way over. But Oh man. Stare any harder and your eyes will You know, if it, if if we weren't constantly being having it brought like Siri be brought up, it'd probably be really easy to forget that that's what our entire quest <laughs> has been since the beginning of the game. You know? <laughs> Cause it's like, oh, that's right, it's all about Siri. <laughs> Shut up and fight. You know, just because like there's so much to the world, you know. Oh, oh, no legs. Unfortunate. Okay, just gonna go ahead and take these. I gotta stop by a shop because I gotta. I keep forgetting, especially ever since it was. Such, I gotta sell the saddles because they weigh so much. And that has been, that has just been something I have not remembered to sell. And then also all the, all the crap we've been picking up. Oh boy. All like the swords and stuff like that from these guys. Got a lot of money though now, so that feels pretty good. What happened, kid? <laughs> they, they. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Okay. Wait. Ah, shit. Hey. Hey. The gray git. Wow. Grab him. What a dick. Ah, oh, damn it. Can't trust anybody in the city. Oh, God. You got a big hammer. Okay. Come on. All right, let's go. Just keep you off of it for right now. 
There we go. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if I if I doubt I could parry this guy, so we're just gonna gonna put this situation out of its <laughs> out of the options. Wow. Damn, all right, I'm over and covered already. Okay. Well, actually, we're level 15 now, which means we have another slot. Means at least for right now, I'm gonna use this one until I really figure out what we want to put these other points into. I know I've been just investing in the signs, <laughs> just because. I mean, this is the first time I guess you guys are really seeing the the skills I'm putting in. Like, I wanna, I do want to put more of these, you know, because these are like for the, the sword play, which obviously we use a lot. We also use the signs a lot, so I just keep investing. You know, it's a lot of good stuff for the signs, though. And alchemy. If I used alchemy more, probably. I don't use it as much currently. I guess I just need to use the decoctions more, then it would make sense. But, yeah, so that, that is just a temporary fix until we can sell stuff, get some extra inventory. We need to go, any time, on you your mark, any you time we talk yeah, horse oh, and boss, get all the rev. And if I hired a witcher as my debt collector, all roads lead to my hackam. Geralt the Riv? A mind's like war. You never know when you're done for. Seems to me I've heard of you before, white hair. <laughs> Ready? Righto. We go on your mark. Great. Let's go then. I love this cooperation. And. And realistically, it's kind of cool that we could have done this alone. It's just like the option. Like we could have teamed up if we wanted to. Should look around. Oh. Yeah, I don't think you guys planned on the whole, you know, Witcher thing. That one kind of hurt a little bit. Alright, he's upstairs, guys. Get him! God, it's so effective on humans. Oh, Gwent. Honestly. Was the dwarves, really, pops, no <laughs> really, you really just sift through those cards and just take them, you know? Come on, Geralt. It's a pretty good opportunity, and we are just letting it slide. Oh, hey! Shut up and fight! Oh my God, am I really? <laughs> it's because I put my sword away. Yeah, I couldn't see. It's caught in this corner. Alright, let's go, dude. Okay. <laughs> ah, ridiculous. Well, that's that. I'll go ahead and just, uh. Ooh. Ash rune. Critical hit damage, freeze, dismember, and bonus experience. It's obviously not as good as our sword, but it's still cool. Gotta get rid of all these. Damn. Okay. So we gotta go to the casino and the arena. Beat you half to death. Oh shit. Hey, can you hear me? Oh fuck. 
Dude. Good? You alive? Don't finish me. Don't intend to. Who the hell are you? I heard screaming downstairs. It's all right now. Will you help me? Uh, let's chat first. You're not hurt all that bad. Let's talk first. Why are you here? Uh, what's it look like? I came here to sit and think. God. All right. Clever and tough's not working for me. They took me for one of Bedlam's moles. Are you? Well, kinda, yeah. So what have you kinda learned? Horson's working hand in glove with the Redanians. Oh, shit. I don't know the details, but he's on their side. And that's all I know. That's why he's getting away with so much shit. Uh, run. Stay a while. Uh, no. I don't know which one's gonna not get him killed, probably. Especially if he's working with the Redanians, like, the reach is quite vast. Take care of yourself. Thanks. I'll lay low until things settle down. Bedlam will learn you help me. See him. He's sure to reward you. Oh, great. If Dijkstra knows Junior's made a deal with the Redanians. Probably doesn't. Ooh, Glyph of Igni. I think we already have... We already have our glyphs. The armor. We only have one slot. <laughs> okay. Wheel. Oh, yeah, because we were boosting Quen. Which is a good idea. Like, Quen... Quen is so... Literally... Oh, it's so powerful. It's so good. It's so good. List of debtors. Adelbert Zimmer, Gwyn Hoys, Latisse, Bilius, Segamore, Prop, Prokop, Rico, Mortimer, Schindel, Schvin, Schvindel, Schvindel, Stan Degrees, Ardvark, Vander, Baltimore. Okay. So... So they, well, I, mean, I don't know if this is just like this subsection of their nice of their gig. You, got there. you see in the dark and you're sturdy. True. Make a fine load sniffer if you weren't so tall. <laughs> they keep a oh, list of the debtors bad. so they can always, obviously, keep tabs on them. <laughs> Get out, Lared. Yeah, it's me. Incoming outlays. Shit. Bookkeeping. Gaming salon number one. Oh, this is the casino. Current month. Outlays, 38,756 crowns. Overhead, 5,294 crowns. And then organizational taxes, 3875. Wow, that's a lot of profit. Wow. Oh my god. Debtors. Count Tybalt. 1285 crowns. Payment deadline. End of the month. Non-negotiable. I wonder what non-negotiable means. Death? Sasha. 956 crowns. Payment deadline. Middle of next month. Two week extension possible with a rate increase of 35%. God damn. Phineas. 5148. Payment late. Last warning. Ooh. Barnard Tui. Or Toll. Debt repaid. Oh, he repaid his debt. Interesting. Patrick Hazelnut. Warning issued. Collections procedures initiated. Oh, God. <laughs> Collection procedures initiated. Is that, like... It's absolutely awful. Good God. Okay, well... Shit. Oh, we can go talk to Dijkstra. 
Interesting. I feel like we should go talk to him first before going to the next place. Mostly because... what is it? It's the arena and then... this is the casino? Oh no, this is his hideout. Uh, I feel like we should talk to him because if we find his hideout, like, right away... Maybe we won't get that chance to talk to Dijkstra? Oh. Gotta go around this way. So right now... Ah, oh shit. I'm so... missing stairs. I just hung the laundry. Ugh. I love... I... Honestly, I love Dijkstra. Dude is such a... sarcastic... sassy... <laughs> sassy dude. And him and Geralt together, like, that was great. Just the back and forth. Phenomenal. Truly one of the best characters we've met so far. Easily. <laughs> uh, I do wonder what he's gonna think of this whole thing. Okay, so is there... Okay, there's no stairs here, probably. Just gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Are you kidding? <laughs> no! No! Oh god. Shit. That's really funny. That is really funny though. God damn it. Oh my god. I mean... I thought about the fall damage. And I was like, you know, it'll hurt, but I could probably take it. What I did not think... What I did not think... God damn it. <laughs> was... Oh. Oh man. No! What I did not think though was... You know, an extra 10 feet. Like a 5 foot fall, sure. That fall, I didn't think it was gonna kill us. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna reload another thing. Okay, so now we made it back to the bathhouse. Ah, uh, damn. What is it, okay. boy? Looking for adventure? No, I'm good. Just look at the freak. Okay, that was so unnecessary. Rude. Hey. Got a minute? I do. What do you want? This one. Wiley, Horson Jr. He's working with Radovid. Huh? If this is reliable information, Horson's neck deep in shit. <laughs> Clearly. Especially if you need if he was in trouble, then he made the deal with the Redanians, not the other way around. Oof. Source seems reliable. Hmm. It would certainly explain how he had the nerve to break with the big four. Need someone who can get me in to see Junior. You must still have some contacts among the Redanians? I don't, but you do. Enlighten me. Temerian, former commander of the Blue Stripes. Ring a bell? Vernon Roach. He's holed up with his men in a camp near Oxenford. Hmm. Pay him a visit. You're sure to cheer him up at least. So we have a contact. Sick. Okay. Oi, Vernon Roach. But before we do that, uh, not honor, honor among thieves. It was this: the gangs in Overgrad. Meet Cleaver's dwarves outside of the arena. And I'm like, is an arena? And everyone's kind of cool with that. Well, not everyone, I'm sure. People hate it. But, like... The, the Eternal Fires, like... Whatever, that's fine. I don't know, it just seems all... On the nose for something that's probably not something that should be going on. On the surface. But then... 
you know, he made a deal with the Redanians. So realistically, they kind of let him do a lot of things he probably shouldn't do. Alright. What's up? Cleaver send you? I eat it. Awaiting your word. Great. Let's go. Time's Kick it wasting. down. You heard them. We're going in. Hell yeah. Okay, yeah, it's this way. Bad idea. Oof. Mistake, dude. Y'all made a mistake. Want some guys over here? Oh, okay. Cool. I was highlighted there, and I was like, "That's a bit over there." Oh, it goes down. It makes sense. Oh no. Okay. Should search this. Oh shit. Oh, did you guys kill? Oh my god. Well, I am late. You guys just went at it. Shit. Oof. Come on. Oh my god. All right, there's so many of you. That, that clears a bit of them out. How's oh, a dog? Roll. Get up the stairs. Oh god. I didn't want to. You you did this, really. Yeah, what'd you think I was gonna do? Come on, come closer. Okay, come on. Well, that'll do it. And third one. Ah. <laughs> yeah, gotta get to a blacksmith too. Ooh, Igor's key. What's that gonna be for? It's Igor. Oh. So that and then there's a little box. What was that the key was for? Oh shit, message from Igor. And a gold ring. Since there's since there's been some misunderstanding lately about the valuables, and a bit of blood's been spilt for no plowing reason whatsoever, I'd like to reassure you. All the coin is safe and sound in the lockbox. The blind arsehole who thought it was missing was looking in the wrong place. Walk down walk down the corridor leading to the upper level towards the arena. Turn so your backs to the grating and look to the wall opposite of you. If you've eyes to see, you'll find what you're looking for. Let me emphasize that Horson Jr.'s crowns have not been touched. Not a single copper is missing. I swear on my own handsome head that they're secure and waiting to be picked up. Igor. Well, well, well. I guess, uh... I guess we found some gold. Let's see. Damn. It really is. It really is like a fighting pit. Jesus. What do we got here? So you just sit here and drink and just have a good time? Okay. 
It's a way to get down there. I could jump, but, you know, knowing last time, I'm scared to do anything over, like, a few feet now. <laughs> okay, map-wise, where are we? Okay. So it is still... Okay, this is... Got it. Even further down. That's how we get down there. Got it. Cool. Sick. So we go here, turn around. Yep. If you've eyes to see. If you've eyes to see. <laughs> that was that was less floor is worn by a moving door. Yeah. Something behind this wall. Yep. How do we get to it? <gasps> Secret lever. genius. Well, you know, hey, I tried. <laughs> what else we got here? Some hunting gloves. Another vial. What we got, ooh, 60 crowns and a letter. Interesting. To Horson Jr., King Radovid is unhappy with your performance. You were to rid the city of the other members of the so-called Big Four, yet not only... Do they still live? But they also now know of your role in their attempted, assa <laughs> attempted assassination. That was not our agreement. For the time being, hide in the place which the messenger delivering this missive will indicate to you. And stay out of sight. His Majesty lives in the hope that mutual animosity between the other members of the Big Four will finish the job which you attempted Yet flubbed so badly. Damn, I'm talking shit. <laughs> Basically, like, hey, you you fucked up pretty bad, but hopefully, uh, hopefully this situation will just take care of itself. You know, due to like the other members just probably fighting it out enough. The thing is, it's not what's gonna happen. Oh, we're gonna bring them all together. I swear to God. If Orson had anything to do with Siri. There will be blood. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, my god, they made some sort of pact with a demon. They're unkillable. Run. Never mind, everybody's on the right page. Fucking run. God damn. Okay. Let's see. See if we can find Horson Jr.'s hideout. Don't be shy. You'll find out. Well, should we go to Vernon Roach first? Maybe. Never need. Well, because we're here, let's see. Let's see the hideout. So I want to know who this Vernon Roach dude is, but I don't know if we should go to him first. I don't know if we find the hideout and it's... We don't need Vernon anymore. <laughs> or what, but... Oh. Oh, what do you guys need? Greetings! <laughs> you here for a specific reason? Uh... Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Oh, shit. of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. 
Yeah, we did owe her fencing lessons. Oh, there it is. Fencing lessons. Uh, we're gonna do that too. We got so much going on. We got so much to do. We got a whole list. Give his hideouts all the way over here. Foolproof method for exercising witches. Where is Vernon Roach? Because that is a far away. Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> that is that is a distance. God damn. I asked for fresh fish. What? Watch this. Oh. Fresh fish. You call this fresh. Well, luckily we'll we'll still be able to get there. A we'll pirate. be That's what we should freaking nature. Oh yeah, you're talking a lot of shit. Step away. Blasphema. Step away. Blasphema. Oh, my god. They're insane. Mm -hmm. Yablis, I have the latest fashion. Get them here and only here. They look Nils Guardian. The fashion has come from the south. Soon everything will look Nils Guardian. No one. Who's got swords in his back? We have not actually been to this part of the city yet. Oh, look at that. That's cool. I actually see practically the whole city. Oh, man. I wish it was as nice as it looked. The eternal fire will guide you. Aye. Hey. Four roads lead to Mahakam. Yep. Nice razors you got me. How did we find it? I have a hard time finding any work here. Watch your coach to make sure that I say we, but you guys are already in here. I <laughs> expect busy, me to go up my ass before I'd expect to find horse and hiding in his house. Cleaver said to be thorough. So we look everywhere. Not to burn the corpses though. Else rats will congregate to feast. And if I hired a witcher as my debt collector? Shite. Cleaver wants this bunghole. Greetings. Thing. Ah, you're Reuven's mate, aren't you? Heard of you. Yeah. <laughs> you in charge? Where's Horson? What happened here? You in charge here? What's it to you? <laughs> Looking for Junior. <laughs> Welcome to the Horson Hunters Club. Alas, we're fresh out of membership cards. And you're out of luck as far as Junior goes. Bugger's not here. Know where I can find him? No. Damn. Sick. Bloody mess. Just sort of happened. Came here, polite and all, to invite Horson Junior to a get-together with his mates. Became obvious right quick that none here acknowledged the ancient right of hospitality. The ancient right. I'm gonna oh, take damn. a look around. Got my eye on you. Okay. Pop Snow White's cherry. Fuck sure, blame that on us too. <laughs> oh my god, what? That didn't. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> Jesus. Okay. Blame that on us too. Oh shit, we got some letters. Nothing interesting here. Never mind. It's trash. Was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry? Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. We're really holding on to that one. <laughs> really not happy about the story of Snow White. Damn. Shit got wild. Dwarves were thorough as debt collectors. Didn't leave a scrap. Damn. What do we got here? Raspberry juice. Place has been scrubbed clean. Strange. Why? Suspicious. Oi. God. Anything interesting in here? Hello? Whoa. Okay. Whole entire operation going on. Anything in this chest? No? Damn. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I check Oi. this room and then I think we're, we're as clear as this is going to get. Yeah, really not much here. Well, as far as, like, anything leading us to Junior specifically. 
Not much. Well, hey, we tried. You see in the dark, and you're sturdy. Make a fine load sniffer if you weren't so tall. Okay. Cool. All right, let's head back down, and then we'll go to Vernon Roach, I guess. Oh, I can't find any work here, watch up. Oh. Well, this has been effective. <laughs> okay, well, let's get back across the bridge. We came in on. Feast your eyes, brave warriors, upon the basilisk, king of the servants. One drop of his venom will kill an army, all season all. Kill it. Shoot through a maze with them choppers. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's a thing happening here. You choked it, Dick. Interesting basilisk you've got there. Course it's interesting. Won't see a beast like this anywhere near here. They spawn only in the wild wastes of Zerikania, from eggs laid by cockerels. What? <laughs> it's, just, it's so funny because, like, Geralt knows this is such bullshit. Cockerel eggs, you say? Yeah, and what cocks they are. Lift their rumps like brood ends to other cocks. Eggs laid by such a cockerel must be brought to hatching by 101 venomous vipers. Then the young basilisk pecks its way out. Should we break should we break it? His illusion? His lie? His life? This basilisk is interesting because it looks exactly like a wyvern. Young one, and he'll fed it that. You talk nonsense, sir. This is the most truest of basilisks. Right, what do I know? I'm just a witcher. All done now. If that's no basilisk, but some weavern, what did I pay for? Give me back my coin cheat. Brave soldiers, don't push, or it'll... Whoa, watch out! Oh, Show God me what you got. Oh, and he's running. God damn it. Well, shit. I kind of feel bad because you just like caged it and fed it horribly. Yeah, no wonder it's pissed and trying to kill everybody right now. He just ran away. Guess the cage was as fake as the basilisk. Well, we got a mutagen and some dragon scales and an egg. So that might be useful for something. Probably crafting something cool. Or selling. Roach. <laughs> but, anyway. We're almost there. We're almost there. Ugh. Dude has this camp so far away. You heard. Adrian Soil's yielding pots. Come on. How's that? Simple. Every part of that. Trouble me, Greylocks. Well, well, well. Seems we found it. Hell of a hideout. Looking for Roach. No one here by that name. Anything else? Wow. <laughs> What do you do here? <laughs> what is your job? What are you doing? Out of my way. No, let's not be aggressive. It's all... Mm. I see. And behind you, that's a berry picker's camp? We're, uh, bird watchers. Let me guess. That sword's in case you run into a hornbill. No. Hornbills aren't endemic to this area. Don't migrate here either. Hmm. You blind, this stuff. Hortensio. That's Geralt, old friend of mine. Oh shit, this is the guy. Come in, Geralt. He's wearing the blue stripes, yeah. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Vernon Roach, Tamaria's last hope. <laughs> Laugh all you want. 
Temeria will rise again. Roach, I cannot abandon them. I... You can and must, because those are your orders. They'll die, please. We're done. Dismissed. Interesting. Things are happening. Shit. He's got his own operation going on. Jeez. Seems cool. Seems like a badass. What do you do here? Hunt Squirtel? You jest, right? Who cares about the Squirtel anymore? Temeria. That's what matters. Temeria. How do you wind up here? Came with the army, of course. Its remnants. When Nilfgaard crossed the Yoruga, I dropped everything. Threw it all away to hell and rode for the front to fight the invader. Joined the Second Temerian Army under John Natalis. We were to stop the Black One's advance along the dull Blathana Mount Carbon line. <coughs> and we did. For three days. Then they smashed us into splinters. Soon Oof. after, I heard Radovid was assembling his forces near Novigrad. That he'd promised to fight for a free north. Broke through with the remains of Natalis's army, but... But? But Radovid proved no better than Amir. So I decided I would mount my own fight. Damn. Taking it on himself. Looking for Horson Jr. I've heard of him. Though I'm not sure why you think he might be in my camp. Heard some birds chirping. You've got some of the same friends. Both seem to count Radovid among your allies. These birds. They're terribly talkative. I'll need to see them. You'll have to point them out. Mm -hmm. oh. Meantime, Vernon. Willing to help or do I need to keep looking? Mm. As always, you've more luck than you deserve. I'm on my way to meet my Redanian contact. We're meeting near Oxenford. At a chess club. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. Just what our band of merry men Swords back, heave high. Today the Black One's heads will fly. Swords down, heave out. You've got blood of streaming spouts. Jesus. Oh my god. Best beware of the other side of the well. room. One false move. Shit, you guys are. You guys are on a fucking mission. Hell yeah. That's it, Roach. God damn. <laughs> oh. Okay, so before we get too deep into the other quest with Vernon Roach, I wanted to come back here and talk to Cleaver. Because we kind of just stopped after we checked all the places and then went to go see Vernon Roach. So... <laughs> Just to make sure we're all good. What do you want? What can you tell me about Junior? Aiming to write his biography. Put his dad in it. Whore son, son of whore son. Great title. <laughs> I'm all ears. Whore son senior was the most ruthless man I've ever met. Unmatched to blackmail, murder and hustling. Jeez. Word is, he had a line on the hierarchy himself. Junior inherited all his gaffer's traits except one, his love of poetry. Senior was on his way to an evening recital when Junior killed him. Oh shit. Then he promptly took over all his dear daddy's businesses and contacts. Wow, so not only is he a piece of shit, but he killed his dad. Which is like... You'd think, oh, well, you know, hey, his dad was terrible, too. We just replaced him with just a worse copy of it. Uh, Went to Junior's joint. I heard, I heard. My lads near came to blows wanting to be the first to tell me. <laughs> Made quite an impression on them. I know, whore son. Wherever he is, he's positively furious. Won't be able to control himself. He'll leave whatever hidey hole he found to lay low in. Can't wait. <laughs> Patience, Witcher. And cheer up. Cleaver pays well for a job well done. Promised a reward, and here it is. 
More where that came from. Damn. Best complete, gangs and overgrad. Oh shit, okay, cool. Two pam, experience pam, points. Three hundred dollars. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now. Now we can go over to Roach. And meet him on the bridge. Back in Oxenford. <laughs> Was it... Okay. So we're meeting him by the bridge. There he is. Okay. Cool. My contact should be there. What's up, dude? Ready? My contact awaits at the chess club. Let's get this over with. Oh, boy. Your contact. Who is it? Slippery little bugger. I'd have nothing to do with him. Were the circumstances any different? You mean you don't trust him? I trust no one. Including you. Oh. Well, I guess that's how you get to be, you know, as... Get to be as far as you've gotten, probably. But... Come on. Roach, you just uh, hang out. I'm gonna go with Roach. Oh man, we have the same name. Spelled differently, but you know, something's not right. I don't like it. Let's see what. This is pretty empty for a club. Oh boy. Oh, great. Checkmate. You did it. They say it's the game of kings. That chess teaches one to think strategically. What a load of rubbish. <laughs> Both sides have identical pieces. The rules stay invariably the same. How does this mirror real life? Witcher. Do you know why I play chess? He's got a good point, I guess. Do you know why I play chess? No, I barely know who you actually even are. In fact, I don't know who you are. <laughs> okay. Uh, for practice, time killer, for company, no idea. Hmm. Time killer? To kill time? I have no time to squander, let alone kill. I yeah. play chess to reveal the game's secret. Hmm. Blood thumps inside these chessmen. You need only listen, and you will hear. Dub dub, dub dub, dub dub. A heart pumping with life. Dub dub. I take a pawn, and I hear flesh being rent. I win a piece, and I hear screams from the depths of its bowels. I want to break the chessmen open. Squeeze the truth from them. Okay. Do you see what I mean? I'm worried for you. Yes, sire. Believe I do. You know shit. You're merely humoring me. Okay. I was not speaking literally. Well, obviously. <laughs> First hidden truth. A monarch is always surrounded by fools. Understand? Um, are you going to believe me if I say yes anyway? I think I do now. Unimportant. Let us speak. Okay. Why have you brought the Witcher here? I think he'd best explain. Oof. 
All right. Expected a Redanian spy. Had no idea we'd be meeting a king. When you have an opportunity to emit intermediaries, I'd suggest you avail yourself of it. It's a, it's a curious guy. I'm looking for Cyprian Wiley, Horson Jr. I know Redania supports him. Why do you seek him? It's personal. Fair enough. I'll not pry. I have placed Junior in a mansion in Oxenfurt. Very few know this. Ah, oh, that was easy. They'll not let you in unannounced. Thus, you must tell them you've come about the new whores. Junior constantly requests fresh women. I hear he doesn't treat them well. Great. Uh, why would you just give me a horse and appreciate the gesture? Why would you, yeah, why would you just give him away like that? That was so easy. It's like, hey, we're looking for Orson Jr. He's like, oh, he's in that house. Oh. Okay. You just give me a man after investing coin and time in him? Can't help but wonder why. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. Almost. I'll expect you to return the favor. Uh-oh. And also... Junior has lost his purpose. The Big Four is no more. I shall contact you to collect in due course. Now go. And you, Roach. We must speak another time. Well, shit. Okay. Radovid's sinking I was... ever deeper into madness as I see it. I know where to find Junior. Don't really care beyond that. Geralt, come to think of it, I too wanted to ask a favor. I have a terrible problem with Vess. Need someone to talk some sense into her. Come see me at the camp. I'll tell you more. Let me think about it. See you, Roach. At least I was Vess is the lady that was all worked up there. What are you looking at? <sighs> oh, shit. Okay, cool. I can't, honestly, I can't believe that. The dude just gave up Horson Jr. like nothing but that also means like he said Horson Horson has run out of his usefulness so there's probably a point where they were gonna you know cut him off at some point or kill him or whatever they don't need him anymore even though the big four still technically exist but oh god we're gonna find him we're gonna find him it's great and Vernon Roach seems pretty chill the king guy is a little, a little, a little uptight, but he's, you know, well, he's a king. Who knows? <laughs> but, okay, we're going to go to Horson's hideout on the next episode. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I know we made some progress. You know, to see where this takes us. I don't even know what it's going to be like, you know, Horson Jr., like, now that we kind of know some of his backstory, too, he is a piece of shit. So maybe the world is better off. Especially if not only is he garbage, but he's trash. <laughs> and he treats he treats the women he gets horribly. And he's just, in general, a murderous, probably psychopath. So, hey, we're going to see that on the next episode. So thank you again for watching. Stick around. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.